Why, hello there, I'm Maris. This is Game Request, and this is El Dorado, the Golden City Builder. I do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of this to take a look at. As you can see, I've uh, spent some time here, and this is going to bring us to our first bug, which um, we're going to talk about quite a bit, because this is a full-release game, so I think, uh, I think some of these shouldn't be happening. But as you can see, I have a building over here. This is a continuation of the game, and I've found that if you don't play this in one full sitting and you save it and exit out, this is now like the seventh time this has happened. Like, that building was was actually right here for me. Um, and you can see things are like under the ground and everything like that. You know, the, these are things that maybe shouldn't be happening on a full release. Now, I do know the devs, you know, are very, are very um, into working on things if there is bugs and stuff like that. So, let me try to recover some semblance. Also, the terrain is real weird in this. Like, it's so hard to find, like, good swaths of flat terrain in order to put down buildings and things like that. So... Can I... Now, if you notice, there's also a calendar system. This game's actually really, really cool, some of the things that are in it. It's just, you know, something like this where it moves your whole base and you've already built elsewhere. Now I've got to find ways to connect it and it's like restarting but not restarting. You know, it's... It kind of stinks. I'm not going to lie. other city here. And then also I have noticed that sometimes you'll save a game and restart it and the water will be up way far on the map, which it wasn't before. Also, the map seemed to have a lot of mountainous regions and, uh, you know, sometimes it's real hard to build on that. Again, though, the game itself is, aw is awesome. It just needs a bit of tweaking here and there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Bam. Okay, so we're in the money. The trick is also building on trying to make sure everything is covered by warehouses because that means my people will head on over to that main base and then I can build pretty handily. Okay. Some of the things that this features is, um, you know, a lovely system where we can sacrifice people. Gotta love it. 
Um, all right, let us, while we're here, let's start building up. Now, as you expand, um, you start to, you know, pray to the gods, all that good stuff. You want, you want the good stuff. Different gods, when you unlock them, unlock different, um, unlock different buildings, different things. We're negative 50 for our workforce. Oh, do we not? Hold on. Do they not register these houses as even existing anymore? Okay. Let's see here. weren't here. That stinks. It really does. This is an elite house. Let's see if I can even build there again now. Shell. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that and butchering that. Hun Hunwanapu. So we come over here. Now, as you can see, I have a couple unlocked. We said cock shell. Now, you see how everything's um, highlighted green. That's what is being protected. So there are actually perfect... See how that is spinning red up in the top corner? That means there is something going on. So I want... Each one of these protects against a certain something, like um, the Hun statue will protect you against, against uh, lightning strikes. Um, Let's do chop. All right, so those are up. What is this? This is... What's the observatory? Can we put a new one there? This wasn't going to happen, but, you know. It's like below the ground. Anyway, let's come back over here and work on this. So. No workforce. So we need a cenote. I hope there's one near here. Yes, we do have a cenote near here. Perfect. All right, so. Oh, and I do have to say the designs that you can pick for like your character pictures are like that right there is like wonderful. Sometimes it's the little things. Okay. Let's get a warehouse. 
warehouse down. Get another warehouse down. Okay. All right, so we're getting, we're doing a little bit better. And what stinks is, I th believe our farms are actually okay over here. Where are my farms? I have farms somewhere. I really do. You can see I was really spent, I spent a lot of time. I know I've got farms somewhere. Ah, uh, here's my farms. Uh, yeah, they're messed up too, man. But like, these are. Where am I? Okay, so. No people. Let's level up some more. Alright, so we are going to just start planting housing down. So we're not doing too shabby. We still need We're slowly gaining people. That's fine. All right. Let us get back to Whoa, now we got 110 people. Jeez. That's a that's a little cray cray. There. Now, let me show you this real quick. So, what is this? Gun is unhappy. City will be ruined by a tornado, but. Ugh. All right, so we've got an issue. So, we need to start putting these down in order to save our people from. Hell that's about to befall them. The problem is we still need oh my god. 
gosh. Okay, good. Good stuff. And for the most part, you have to do this with all the statues, really depending on what you want to protect. Like, again, for the Hun... Huna, Huna, I'm, I'm really butchering the names, and I'm very, very sorry for that. Um, but, like, certain ones are against lightning strikes, certain ones are against tornadoes, certain ones are against flooding, landslides, things like that. So a, a lot of the times you can more customize what you're being protected against. Like, if you're in a low-lying area like I am where it might flood, maybe you want the flood protection, more, more flood protection, and also you want to make sure everything's covered. But like I said, I still need farms, so... start sticking farms. How about right there? So then what you're going to do is go here and highlight that. And we need my use. Okay. Let's do another farm here. out of clay. No, I have clay. Can we not grow on this portion? Is that is that what you're saying here? Well, that's very odd. Alright, we're going to grow cotton there. More farms, more farms. Let's do right here. Let's get a road going up to it. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Where is it? I hear it. Where is it? Oh God, what's it destroying? Oh no, oh no. I mean, oh, thank God it's hidden over here. Not that, you know, but I have a statue. That's terrible. That really is terrible. Hey, can we do this? saying that's terrible while well, I'm like, hey, can we connect a road here? Okay. 
Oof. Not close enough to a warehouse. Fine. Sheesh. It's quite a, uh, quite a, uh, crazy little game. It's definitely, if you like city builders and you like ones that are a little more, I'd say there's a lot more happening in this. So real quick, let me just show you before I head on out. If you come over here, we have a constellation map. These are the gods I was talking about. So you can see different ones unlock different things and you have different costs and different XP requirements. So, you know, that depending on what you want. Um, observatory right here is how you get your astronomy points and your astronomy points are how you, let's see here, are how you order an omen. So you can see we can ask the different gods for different blessings depending on who you have unlocked and they have the portraits on top of them you can select just single single gods to do things or you can have all of them and depending on what you select like let's go with um hun hunampu which is spawn limestone jungle speed or juicy woods this is the first one you unlock, so if you need your plants to regrow for your gatherer's hut, or you need limestone to regrow, that's that's how you do that. And it takes a couple days, but that's how that goes on. Um, you always need to make sure you're using blessings to rebuild things, regrow trees, regrow stone, all that stuff. It's, it's actually, oh, we made someone else mad. Oh, another tornado's incoming in 20 days. God, she hates us. But that's all right. It's probably because we're not sacrificing enough, uh, enough uh, sacrificial humans. But unfortunately, my it was right here. Hold on. Let's let's uh, let's sacrifice some humans real quick. Where is my shale? Here we go. I want to kill some humans. Bam, dead humans. Bam, more dead humans. That's how we roll. But really, really cool game. They do need to fix the bugs. But again, the devs are actively working on it as people report stuff. So, I mean, it's a really cool game. It's a cool concept. You don't get to see the Mesoamerica building very often. Um, Le Sara is, is out there. That's Andean as well. Um, so, I mean, but this is a diff, much different style than that. So, you know, hopefully everything gets worked out because this is awesome. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to gamerquest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.